Hey guys, welcome to today's Sunday service. I'd like to welcome you all, and I also like to welcome those who are joining us for the first time, and we hope that you keep streaming. Um, for those who had birthdays this week, we'd like to wish you all a happy birthday. Now, with that being said, let's go straight into our offering. All right, guys, it's time for our offering. Now, today our offering verse is coming from the book of 2 Corinthians 9, verse 12. And it says, This service that you do helps others to meet the needs of God's people. It is also bringing more and more thanks to God. So this verse is simply saying that the offering money that we give helps the needy. And it is also saying that the more we give our offering, it's the more we show our gratitude or our thanks to God for the things that he does for us. So if you have your offering money, you can ask anyone order, either mommy, daddy, or anyone order to help you give. The giving options are on the screen.
glory of the risen King. Shine your light. Alright guys, it's now time to pray, so everyone let's close our eyes and repeat after me. Okay. So dear God, we thank you for this day. So dear God, we thank you for our teachers, our parents, and our brothers and sisters. So dear God, we thank you for the gift of life. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Hi, boys and girls. It's Teacher Manga here. All right. So it's that time of the month. Can you guess what it is? Of course, it's Christmas time. I'm sure you're all excited as I am. Of course, it's that time where we have to share gifts, look at Christmas trees, sing Christmas carols. It's just an amazing, an amazing time. Well, now, boys and girls, have you been wondering why we celebrate Christmas? Well, we celebrate Christmas because it's the time when we remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. So this month, we are starting a new series called The First Christmas. So just like during Christmas time, we have so many plans. Some of us have plans to host a party. Some of us have got plans to decorate gifts. Some of us have got plans to go out. God had a plan during this time to send Jesus to die for us. So that's what we're going to learn during this time. So our Bible point for today is God promised Jesus for us. Yes, God promised Jesus for us. So now we are going to watch a video that's going to explain to us what happened during this first Christmas. So let's enjoy the video, kids. In order to discover why Jesus was born, we must travel thousands of years into the past to a time when God's people, the Israelites, were in the Promised Land. The Israelites were constantly disobeying God. Sin was rampant in Israel. One day, God sent a prophet to warn the Israelites about their disobedience. A prophet was a person who told people on earth what God wanted them to hear. One day, a prophet named Isaiah came to remind the Israelites of the coming of God's Savior. He said, For to us a child is born, to us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. The zeal of the Lord Almighty tells us this. Even though Isaiah warned them, the Israelites still disobeyed God. So God sent another prophet. His name was Micah. His message to the Israelites was, You, Bethlehem, are one of the smallest towns in Judah. But from you will come one who will rule Israel for me. He comes from very old times, from days long ago. God knows that when we disobey the rules He set up, we usually hurt ourselves or others. 
God sent all these prophets to tell the Israelites just that. Nearly all of these prophets also spoke of a coming Savior, one who would take away their disobedience and sin. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed the video. So, now we've got a few questions that we need to answer that we learned through the video. The first is, we heard of a prophet. Now, what is a prophet? Well, a prophet is somebody who is sent by God to send a special message to his people. All right, did you get that? A prophet is somebody who is sent by God to send a special message to his people. All right. Another thing that we saw in the video was there were two prophets. One prophet's name was Isaiah. The other prophet's name was Micah. Now, why did God send two prophets? Well, the reason was the first prophet that God sent, that was Isaiah, when he sent him, the people didn't listen to him. So God had to send another prophet to remind them of the promise of Jesus. And that prophet's name was Micah. All right. Now, the last thing that we need to ask is, what was this promise? Well, boys and girls, the promise that God had for us was his son, Jesus. Now, we're going to read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. And I'm going to be reading from the International Children's Bible. All right. And this is what the Bible says. It says, For a child is born for us. A son is given for us. And the government will rest on his shoulders. These are his royal titles. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. All right, boys and girls. Now, in that verse, we see that God had the promise to send his son to die for us. Now, this son didn't just die for you. He died for me as well. Now, this son's name was Jesus. And there are some special names that the Bible says about Jesus. The first was Wonderful Counselor. What that simply means is that Jesus is the one who gives us strength whenever we are weak. The next name was Mighty God. What that means is that Jesus is a strong God and we can trust in him. The other name was Everlasting Father. What that simply means is Jesus is our Father forever. He never stops being our Father. And finally, the last name was the Prince of Peace, meaning he is the leader who gives us peace. So this is the wonderful promise that we receive during this time of Christmas. So I hope you've learned something. It's now time for the Memory Reverse, where we're going to learn more about this. So enjoy, kids. Hi, guys. It's time for the Memory Verse. Now, the Memory Verse for today is going to come from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 38. And it says, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be as you have said. So I'm going to show you guys some actions that will help you remember. And after that, I'll ask you guys to join me. So it's from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 38. And it says, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be as you have said. All right, guys, can you do it after me? Luke chapter 1, verse 38. It says, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be as you have said. All right, guys, remember to continue practicing so that you don't forget the memory verse. Hi, boys and girls, it's Teacher Manga here. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's lesson, the praise and worship, the, the offering, and the memory verse. It's now time for our altar call. 
Now, boys and girls, as you all know, our series is called The First Christmas, and we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus was born so that he could die. Die for what? Our sins. So that you and I can become friends of God. Now, how can we become friends of God? Well, very simple. All you have to do are the A, B, C's, which stand for A, accept that I'm a sinner. B, believe that Jesus came to die on the cross for your sins. And C, confess that Jesus is Lord. Now, boys and girls, when you do the ABCs by faith, you can now become a friend of God. So now I want to give you this chance for those of us who've never had an opportunity to make Jesus your friend. All you have to do is pray with me and believe in your heart everything that I've just shared with you. And by faith, God will make you his friend. So are you ready to pray? All right. Let's bow our heads. And let's close our eyes and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my life today and be my friend. It's in your name that I have prayed. Amen. Awesome, boys and girls. If you prayed that prayer with me, you know what's happening in heaven? There's a party in heaven because you are now part of God's family. All right, so right now I have these two books with me. And these books over here, this book is for children aged five, aged three to five. And here is for children aged six to 11. So all you have to do, there's an email on the screen is tell any adult person who's nearby, it could be mom, dad, uncle, anybody who's old, to email the church your name and your age, and you will be able to access these books. All right, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to today's service. See you next week.